and welcome back everybody to the west coast we've got a lot to do today we're trying to get uh as much done as possible look at that beautiful sunset i used to play seasons at 5x speed and uh, you know most of my viewers know that i slowed it down to 1x and it just it makes the sunset so much more enjoyable because you actually get to see them on 5x speed it's like the sunset is like, oh, that's pretty. And then one minute later, wait a minute, it's dark already. So I feel like now I actually get to enjoy the sunset and, uh, you know, that, that stage where the sun goes down in real life, it's, it's a nice thing because typically there's a lot of dust when you are harvesting. And when the, when the sun starts to set, it's, yeah, it might be pretty, but it kind of glares in. Oh, so this way wouldn't be so bad. But when I flip around and go back the other way, the sun is so bright since it's low and that dust that flies up in front of the combine, it's uh, it's a nightmare to try to see, especially when you're doing soybeans. Corn's, corn's not quite so bad. It's just not quite as dusty, but soybeans are a, a very dusty crop. And uh, yeah, that's another reason why it's, it's fun to see the sun actually kind of go down, but uh, it is really pretty. Um, anyway, I, we're opening up this field a little bit unconventional. I have GPS set up with a north and south uh, or no, actually, this is a straight east and straight west run. And then, of course, we're going to have to uh, finish opening up the field around the edges. Uh, you can see that I left Fritz up here just because I wanted... Uh, I figured I would probably have to dump when I'm opening up the field. And I wanted something to dump with. Frederick is over on the other side of the field. He is not quite in the field yet. I haven't actually made it over to him yet, so... Uh, it's going to be a little while before he can get going. Actually, I'm wondering if I think I might actually... Let's see. Um, how do I want to do this? I think that perhaps I want to come back later to this. I want to... Oh, we're going to miss you, Fritz. Don't worry. And then we hit the tree, of course. <laughs> um, but... What I'm trying to say is I think that I'm going to kind of open up a little bit around the edge and then I'm going to make my way back down to Frederick and we're going to uh, go with him, I think. And uh, let's see. So we just need to go around and let's see. Um, I know it kind of goes a little bit wide there at the edge. So if we want to set up the straight GPS pass and hit it, um, well, I guess we can always do the edge first and then straighten up with GPS later, but I don't know. Since we have GPS, I will probably just uh, go down the edge, whatever estimated um, distance we are away from the edge. So probably, you know, at least one swath away from the edge there, so we make sure that we get the good GPS path. Uh, it'll just make the edge a little bit easier to turn around to as well. So let's uh, go all the way to the edge and we'll see where that GPS path is at. That's what I think the plan is and we gotta make sure we get all of it there. Don't wanna, don't wanna miss anything. I am enjoying this uh, brand new Massey Combine even though I, I'm so sad we had to get rid of our old one but there was just something wrong with the MR where we could go harvesting 19 miles an hour down the slope and it wasn't wrong with MR itself. It is just a byproduct of uh, whoever made that mod, I think they just might have forgot something simple like um, setting the speed limit. And then the uh, the person who converted the MR probably didn't catch that either. And uh, so let's... Uh, uh, no, I don't know if we want that one. That's going to put us too far over. So let's... Uh, oops, oops. I don't want to get that too far there. Might might get stuck. Um, I think that is there we go this will get us on the right gps path and a little bit of a rocky start there but okay so now this will be just perfect what we wanted whoa Went a little bit too fast there uh let's set the speed limit to six and we will um kidding slowly pick up speed again uh so perhaps uh, i guess that's the grain in the grain tank um, I thought the upper limit for this combine was 8 or 9. I can't remember, but we can't go any more than that. And, indeed, it looks like with the yield, it slows down quite a bit there to, uh, to, to more respectable speed. Um, let's, uh, yeah, yeah, I think this will come out nicely. And then we're going to open it up, and then we'll set up Fritz on, or Frederick, rather, on horseplay. I have made a lot of changes. <laughs> 
as you know, the last episode, I royally messed up course play. And I accidentally set a dumping point instead of a crossing point, and that means that they dumped the entire load. And so I dumped two loads in the middle of the road before I realized that um, something is amiss and my home grain storage is not actually getting any grain. Um, let's uh, get ready to get off course play there and continue around the circle. This is, uh, in real life, you generally don't want to curve this much. If you imagine the, the edge of the left head over there, when it's curving like this, it's gonna smush down a lot of grain and probably waste it. I know that's the case, at least for soybeans. This actually might not be as bad because it might lay into the other row. And then if you come back the opposite direction, you probably will be able to pick all of it up, if not most of it. But for us, we just need to go around a little bit more here. And we're going to uh, set up course play. That's what we got to do. So we just got to open up the field a little bit more so that Frederick can turn around without trying to turn around on the, um, you know, on the actual crop itself. If, you know, if it was a real driver, of course, I would not have any problems with that. I just tell him, hey, dummy, don't drive on the, don't drive on the crops. But, uh, you know, unfortunately for course play, we need a little bit more. So let's just uh, do a little bit something like that. And then I think maybe one more on the edge and we will be golden. So let's uh, let's get going in there now. There we go. And right? Or should we do one more pass? Uh, that should... Well, I don't know. That's not enough. That's not enough. Uh, we're going to have to open up a little bit more for him. Uh, maybe three rows here on the bottom. Something like that. Give us, give him a nice wide berth to turn around on. And actually, I think I just nicked a little bit of... Uh, <laughs> oh, well. We'll, uh, we'll pretend that didn't happen. We pretend a lot... <laughs> when I play, we pretend like a lot of stuff didn't happen. And we pretend that you, my loyal viewers, did not see a lot of things. So, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff that, uh, yeah. It's almost like a little secret spy club where didn't see that or I can't talk about that that didn't happen right uh, let's uh, uh, that should be enough but for good measure let's go over here on the left edge here and just just start this outside row a little bit and there's no way we can make it up to the other end of the field and back before we fill up our combine so we will just go up here a little bit and uh, have to stop unfortunately looks like we're gonna have to get just a little skinny sliver there uh, at the end but that's actually not the end of the world let's um let's uh let's okay let's uh let's stop there and then we will uh, go on back and let's let's set up von Frederickstein here. So here we go. Um, I think uh, right. That's the auger button. Yeah. So actually, let's let's set him up without the combine here. Here we go. Okay. So that should be out of the way enough. We got to get him on the field itself, and then we'll be good. So. If we set up a course where, let's see. So, you know what, since I'm already facing this way, let's set up the return to field course first. All right, that's what we're gonna set up first. So, the crossing point will be right, th no, not there. That's, uh, that, that's where it'd be if it was an American. Uh, but we are in the UK, so, you know, it'd be a lot easier in the future if I recorded these without uh, a trailer but for right now what we want to do is we want to start recording right here and go on into the field so this will be the return path into the field we're coming on in and then we will uh, set a wait point right and then we'll set the stopping point okay so that's what that's gonna be and then we're gonna save this so this will be uh, what's the field name uh, this is on field 40. So let's say field 40 uh, return. 
and there we go. So field 40 return, and then we're actually going to want to delete that and go forward just a little bit and start recording again. Get a couple straight points and get another straight point. We need at least another one. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to try to turn as quick as possible. We don't want to end up in the tree. And come on, hit another point. Hit another point here. Okay, so hopefully that'll work. I don't know. That's kind of dicey there. I should. It's generally better to have three straight points after your first one there. But we're just going to say that that's good enough. So actually... What I all I have to do is just record it there, and then you should latch on to that other crossing point. Okay, so we will say this is field um, 40 and uh, exit or home. Uh, field 40. Whoops. Did I accidentally save that one? No, we don't want just F40. We want F40 and uh, exit because you're exiting the field. Or uh, leave. I guess leave. Yeah. Since I since I put return, I'll just put leaving on the other one. Alright, so I think we're good to go then. And let's uh actually um so we're gonna have to put uh, another category for those, but for now we'll just leave them at the bottom. And let's uh so what we want to do is we want to uh, unload everything. We want to open up the pathing folder. We want um field let's see well you know what i can do underscore pathing or underscore fields at, at so it's always kind of on the top since these are what we're linking but anyway we want to uh load a return path and then we want to load a let's see which way do we want to go to the farm now this is going to be what's tricky because i <laughs> okay so let, let's do this in order um let's do a, a leaving path first and then we're going to want a counterclockwise loop that'll get us... Uh, okay, so it must be recognizing that... Okay, so we need to change things a little bit. Uh, let's exit this. Let's uh, go uh, load field 40 leaving. And we're going to record... Right? Can't we record on top of it? Uh, no. Let's, uh, let's just delete that course. Okay, so we're going to exit and re-record things. Uh, that was a little bit of a mistake. Um, field 40 leaving is going to be deleted. So what we want to do is get on up here and uh, start course recording. Well, we've got to be a little bit straighter than that. We're going to start course recording right... Oops, that's... Uh, yeah, I guess that's good enough. Um, start course recording... And then we need at least one point, and now let's start turning. It'd really be, be much better to have more than that. This is not going to work. Pretty, probably. Yeah, see, there's the... Uh, that's just not going to work pretty. But whatever, we're going to try it anyway and see what happens. And then all we have to do is get out here because it has to be closest to... It latches on to the next closest crossing point. And a start and end points are your crossing points. So that acts as a crossing point, actually. So now we need to save this as field 40 and leave. So leaving field 40 and we might as well load the counterclockwise path. There we go. Now it finds that closest and that was the problem. It was finding that other one. So that way, the reason I did, I basically did, I guess I should explain. I did a counterclockwise loop and a clockwise loop all the way around this path on the southern side of the map. And the reason I did that is basically i can latch on to that at any time with any path with any field from any farm from any store and so now all i have to do in the future is for example if i need to create a path to clifftop farm or frontier well all i have to do is go down to frontier design or frontier uh store and then create an enter and exit points onto that main path i don't have to record this entire tedious path every single time uh so that's the reason i hooked that up so now we are going to the farm now only we need to latch on to the lane to home so uh just so you know i'm calling this our lane right here this this is kind of the back lane and then i'm calling this other path i created our lane alternate so that'll go down here and because i think i'm going to be using two tractors for this path uh let's do um lane to home 
We'll go that way, and then we're going to latch on to the lane alt from home. That's going to get us back to the main road, and then we're going to want loop clockwise, which will bring us... Uh-oh. I should have loaded this loop. Um, but let's... Uh, we should be field 40 return. There we go. Oh, so we missed something. Why did the uh, the clockwise loop did it not appear to load correctly? Oh boy. Oh no. Did I not? No, that's a clockwise loop. Uh, so we got a little bit of a problem. Um, at some point. Why did that not work? All right, we want to... Okay, you know what? Let's do... Uh, no, I didn't mean to... Yo! Oh. This is a... Oh, this is a nightmare. Okay, let's just delete that whole thing. Let's... We got to figure out why this didn't work. So let's load... We want to load up the... Counterclockwise loop. And then we want to go from there to home. And then we want to go from home. You know, I probably should have tested these out. From home to... Uh, that one. I think that's the one that's probably not working. And let's, uh, let's just latch on to clockwise. Yeah, see, that one's just not... That one's just not working. Let's go counterclockwise to... Well, let's try this one then. Let's go counterclockwise uh, lane to home. No, 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 not back. Nah. <laughs> so let's go counterclockwise and then lane alt to home. And then let's try the lane uh, from home. There we go. And then let's go the loop uh, counterclockwise. What? Oh, right. Okay. So, we're good. Um, so, all we need to do is we need to... Okay, we got it. That looks like it works, though. Um, so, we need to go the back entrance first, and then we need to leave out of the main entrance. For some reason, that other one, it just must have a disconnect in the link. I'm not sure why. We're going to have to figure that out at a later time. But for now, we need to record field 40 again. So let's, uh, this will be the return path. So we need to start recording. We're going to come in here. And then we're going to come on right here. And we're going to actually stop right there. That's where we're going to stop. Actually, we need a wait point first. And then we're going to stop. So that'll be field, field, hello, field 40. Uh, return Okay, so that one's saved. Let's exit out of that one. We need to start Recording again, and we're gonna get some straight points here So we need at least a second one and we should use a third one third one would be much better Third one would be much better. We can get it. Come on. Okay. Well, that's almost straight enough. There we go and now we're turning and There we go. So now we are exiting the field and going on out and we learn from experience we need to go right to about there and now it can stop so that is going to be a f40 exit let's just call it exit it's shorter and less cumbersome than leaving okay so we are exiting and then we want to load the counterclockwise loop counter ccw and then we want to go from there to the uh, lane alternate to home. And then we want to load the uh, lane from home. And then we want to load clockwise. There we go. And then from clockwise, we want to load the field 40 return. And uh, there we go. We have a wonderful little loop set up now. And if we wanted, we could actually save this loop. So we don't have to... You know what? I'm going to just do that because... Um, I'm probably not going to... Okay, so let's just do this. So field 40 unload. Uh, 
Uh, I'm going to do that just because I'm probably not going to finish all of the, this 40 in one episode. Um, just because I took forever setting this up. And um, it's taken up a lot of my playtime. But I think now from now on that uh, course play is good. I'm getting the hang of course play here. Uh, we're, we're using this. So let's uh, drive course. Uh, what's the first waypoint? Let's just drive it from the next closest waypoint. And there you go, buddy. Um, so one other thing we need to make sure you are awake. Are you not stop driver? Yeah, we don't want you as transport. We want you as uh, grain transport, right? On empty combine and offload. I think this is what we want, right? Yes, this is the one. This is the one. So let's uh, do drive course and. You should stop. Nope. We didn't start him far enough back. Let's we gotta we gotta try to stop him on or start him onto this course so he will stop and wait for us. Or perhaps we should drive you know what? If he does it this time, maybe we should have him Okay, he's gonna wait because he hit that point. Okay, that's fine. Uh, what we want to make sure now is uh, let's lower the turning radius because we want them to try to make that turn without hitting the crops. Um, start at 50. Uh, no, no, no. You're going to start at 100 because that's... I don't want him automatically ever finding the combine. Uh, automatic search. Sure, let's put you on automatic. Normally, I'm going to come here and unload on you manually. So we're not going to need to worry about that. And then the speed limit is I don't want you from recording. We're going to set a maximum speed of... Something like, well, let's go, you know what? Let's go 15 mile an hour in the field. Let's go 25 on the road. Street speed. Uh, well, it thinks everything is a street, and that includes the barnyard. Let's just keep you at a nice, easy 15. We've got a couple tractors, and we want to make sure that you are not um, going to have any problems. Drive control. We're going to put you four-wheel drive just so we don't have any problems there. And then, you know what, for good measure, let's uh, hook up Fritz and get him down there in the line. So we're going we're gonna to drive around here. And there we go. We're going to set this up so we got some nice little carting action going on. This will be wonderful, guys. Wonderful once I actually start harvesting again, right? Okay. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. And here we go. And, whoa, fish, a little bit of fishtail there with uh, good old Fritzy. And you know what? Let's actually, we got two drivers. Let's send you on your way. And because I did that, you know what? This is a brilliant thing. I don't have to do the whole thing all over again. Um, let's do uh, same thing with you. Let's set you up at 100. And let's lower your turning circle to 6. And let's uh, go over here to automatic search. Let's do this. And let's do maximum speed. We want uh, 14 and 14 for you. And then we're going... Whoops. Uh, there we go. 14. Uh, reversing speed, sure. Uh, maximum speed. And let's uh, do four-wheel drive always. And let's uh, start you and make you drive. Next closest waypoint. There we go. We're going to make you drive that. Make sure there are no problems. Um, also, while I am at it, we're going to have to open up this pit again. I always seem to forget this. And uh, then uh, turn on the system. So there we go. I think. There we go. Okay, so we are good to go. Finally, we can harvest after all that setup. And it did take a lot longer, but it will greatly, it will greatly speed up our um, time here that we have well I gotta do one more thing and remove Landy because Landy is kind of in the way oh great already in trap oh wait that's this of course you're in traffic uh that makes sense you know what let's just move you let's move you to the other field because I imagine that instead of trying to you know what? if I have to come here and manually unload you I think that I might just, I don't know. I don't know if I will ever have you search out the combine because 
it just never seems to work out right. And I don't know what I'm doing wrong with that. But at least here we have automatic drivers and all I have to do is harvest as long as I don't crash into anything. And we have Fritz slipping. So we already ran into a problem. Let's go look at that while we unload. If we get over the, there we go. Did I not have the combine mod? That's weird. I might have accidentally, okay. Uh, well, let's, uh, let's look at Fritz here. And Fritz is right here, slipping here. What the heck is... Oh! So that's right at the... That's right at the end of... Okay. So I think... How do I do that then? Yeah, so the problem is that's at a... That's at the start point. So we had a problem when we loaded this course. Oh, goodness. Okay, so that course is not going to work. Oh, boy. This is just a, turning into a nightmare. Why didn't that load right? Do we have to load it first? Maybe we have to load that one first. Um, let's go into pathing. Let's load the... Um... Clockwise loop first. So this will be back to the field. And so back to the field and then here. And then you want to latch back onto the counterclockwise course. Oh, which ends there. Wait. Okay, so I have to do... Why did I make them start and end right there? This is going to be a nightmare. This is not going to work. Uh, well, we need to have you go to... I, I gotta have it go from this one then. Lane two home. But I don't even think that worked. Why wouldn't you latch onto the lane to home? The lane to home's right there. Okay, so it looks like it might have worked. Yeah, it just it just was outside of range. And so we have uh it's a little bit early but I think that'll still work let's run home and see why this is not working um, so I have you running home and oh goodness we're not gonna do anything this episode <laughs> oh this is horrible well uh, if I had more time before Friday if I wasn't streaming, live streaming all day Thursday, then I would probably stop and re-record this. But this is the only time I have if you guys want to record an episode. Since I have decided to live stream all day Thursday, uh, I just, I'm going to be really tired before my night shift and I really don't want to have to take the time to stop and edit and record a video after, you know, that. Even if I'm not live streaming, so I don't know. Uh, so what I need to do is I have a crossing point here. Yeah, see, I have a crossing point here. So let's load the alternate from home then. That should work. And indeed it does. Okay, so let's trace this then. And we need to go all the way around. And uh, let's... <laughs> Let's trace out this path and see why it's not going to work. So, we have it loaded to here. And then there's a problem when it gets back to the main street. For some reason, the other one just didn't seem to work. So, what should happen is if I press load, you want to head back there. So, that'll be the... Uh, oh, goodness, we slipped on the grass there. <sighs> not doing anything this episode um that will be the clockwise loop we want to load the clockwise loop so let's actually load it now and see what happens when we get down there hopefully 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 we will be good to go uh, slow down so we don't slip on the grass again it's awful slippery awful slippery on the grass okay so we loaded the clockwise course and what happened? It, you know what? It, this is probably going to work, but it's going to stop right there. Why did I make the start and stop points? Oh, well, it didn't 
because it, that would have been a problem anyway. Um, unfortunately, I had a closer crossing point over there than I did right there. So that would already be a problem. But then we're going to have a second problem. Oh, you know what? You know what? <laughs> Let's try... I didn't record that far enough. That's the problem. Uh, well, I can try. Um, start course recording. Let's just do this. Let's just do this and this. And you know what? I think this is part of the problem. Because it's going to have it. Right? I think. I think we need to do this course all the way to where the other course um, starts. If I understand it correctly. Alright. Here we go, guys. So, I think right up there somewhere is where it starts. So, we're going to stop this. And we're going to save this as something uh, temp. Let's just say temp one or something like that uh well actually we might not want this temp uh we might make this uh connection uh see what is this clockwise so connection clockwise uh so uh what we want is um <laughs> field 40 exit wait we need to exit okay so field 40 exit and then we want you to jump on to the counterclockwise loop. And then we want you to go home. And then we want you to uh, jump onto the alternate lane from home. And then we want you to jump onto the connection. And then we want you to, right, jump onto the clockwise path. What the heck? Why are you doing that? Did I not put a crossing point at the end of you or something? Uh, what? Why? What the heck? Oh, boy. So, field 40 exit. We want counterclockwise. We want lane to home. We want alternate lane from home. goodness you know what I screwed everything up uh, yeah. so we'll leave that one and darn it it's doing it again I didn't put the crossing you know what <laughs> why why okay so we gotta okay I think this will work though I think we got it so let's exit out of that what we need to do is we need to load the um, uh, home, no, we need to load, going up to pathing, we need to load lane from home. We need to load that one. And what we need to do is, let's uh, go out here. Yeah, see, it's just a little bit closer than that one. I think that's the problem. So let's uh, go here, and we're going to do this way. No. Cancel that one, and then we're gonna do. Goodness, this, this ridiculous. Once I get everything done, I will be in better shape. Okay, so we're gonna record a course from there. Wait, we need a cross point. I think, and a, a cross point there. Goodness, so. Ah, uh, so let's do, um, let's save this one as a temp. So this one's going to be temp. So this one is temp, uh, clockwise. And what we want to do now is save the, uh, so we need to exit the course. So lane from home, and then we want to load temp clockwise. And there we go. So now we want to save this as, um, uh, what was my naming scheme? 
So lane from home, and then, okay. So we want to save this lane. Underscore from home uh, to, well, yeah, lane from home clockwise. There we go. Uh, I think that, I, I think I'll be able to know what that means. So lane from home clockwise. So let's put that up here in the pathing folder. And then we want to delete lane. Well, we don't want to delete lane from home because actually what we want to do is we want to cancel everything. We want to load this one because you already latch on to the other path, I think, right? Well, let's just load that and let's load uh, counterclockwise and see what happens. Nope. Darn it. I... Ah! <laughs> okay. So that doesn't work. Uh, what we need to do is let's just record this one too. Um, so exit out of everything. So let's uh, do a temporary course. And start recording and this will be the lane right here so let's stop and um, right let's stop and say temp TCW and then we will exit and then we want to load this and load the temp TC Counterclockwise, yes. Temp counterclockwise. And then that is what we want, right? So let's save that as um, lane underscore from home as CCW counterclockwise. All right. And then we want to save that one in the pathing folder. And then we want to delete this one. Actually, uh, you know what? I probably should have checked. To see if uh, the counterclockwise pathing even worked. So loop counterclockwise. Yes. Okay. So you work fine. So now we can delete the two temps, I believe. We're going to keep that one. So let's put that one in the folder so we don't accidentally delete it. And okay. So now what we want to do is we want to load from uh, field 40 exit. Then we're going all the way to our counterclockwise loop and then we're going to the connection counterclockwise and then we're going to the lane alt to home and then we're going from the lane from home clockwise and then we're going to the uh no oh goodness <laughs> uh loop clockwise and then we're going field 40 return and we are done. So now we save this as field, field 40, uh, um, drain trans. Okay. So I know this looked confusing and, uh, this is a lot harder than it would have taken if I would have just hired out the combine worker and done all the carting and pathing myself. But I think that um, this will be a lot better in the future. Uh, because now, all I have to do is latch onto this course. And since I've kind of worked out the kinks, it should work. It should. Should work. Uh, so let's uh, do drive course at the uh, nearest waypoint. Next, let's do next closest waypoint. And you drive. And now, fingers crossed, we should not have any problems. We do need to, however, uh, go to our, here we go. Let's uh, have you stop because you are a horrible course. And we need to go field 40 grain transport and load that course. There we go. So let's uh, load you. Let's uh, go back. And you know what? You're almost full. But let's, uh, let's just start you out. Next closest waypoint. And you should stop. Okay, you're on your way. Well, hopefully that works out and we don't have any problems. And we'll get Fritz back because otherwise we're going to be hosed. Okay, so let's, <laughs> let's do this for a little bit, shall we? Uh, we've got a lot of combining to do. Stupid everything. Why? Does, why can not one thing just work right? You know... All right, let's uh, let's get going. 
Oh man, that's just that's just absolutely insane how much work that was. But okay, I figured out the kinks to and from farm as long as should be turning in soon. Are we getting slipping errors? Should be turning in there soon. Okay, we're good. Okay, we got the first hurdle. It looks like we're good. I think we're good, guys. <laughs> I think we're doing it. <laughs> All right, so we got a couple course play coursers going on their way. And, okay. By the time they get back to the field, I should be full. And then I should have to probably quit this YouTubing recording because it will be time to uh, go. I've got I've got a lot of things to do today before, um, before my wife leaves tomorrow. So yeah, in case you couldn't tell, I'm recording this actually on Wednesday uh, for Friday's episode because I'm streaming all day Thursday and then I work the Thursday night shift, I work the Friday night shift. There's just no other time to, um, unless I don't want to sleep at all, there's absolutely no other time to record unless I don't want to live stream. And I'm really excited about live streaming on Thursday. Of course, that's in the past, so if you're watching this now, you won't be too excited about it because it'll already be in the past. But uh, anyway, I uh, <laughs> I will, yes, um, stuff and things and stuff. So we're going to go. I am thinking actually about doing four episodes a week and doing two live streams because part of the problem is I do really enjoy playing Farming Simulator, but I don't know if I can do more than two Farm Simulator episodes a day. There's just so many other good games that I really want to play. And if I, I mean, that's part of the other problem. I don't have enough time to record them all. So it will have to be kind of in a live streaming format, I think, unless nobody wants live streams. Um, but it looks like a lot of people like to live stream. So I'm thinking about doing something like a, Sunday and Monday live stream or Monday and Tuesday live stream to kind of kick off the, the week for you and then do more of a Wednesday and Friday um, oh goodness that's fast yeah so well that's weird maybe it's not a maybe it wasn't a problem with my class combine maybe it was a problem with just more realistic mod it seems really weird that I should be able to harvest it at 15 miles an hour that's totally wrong that is not accurate and totally wrong uh let's just uh latch onto this course here and go on the way up uh if i there we go now we're on the course right yes uh we will go on up and let's uh, while we're at it let's uh check on our guys so it looks like indeed my uh fritzy is on his way back no problem so far we are doing well. Okay. And we're not full yet, so we should have plenty of time before they get back to uh, unload here. Let's actually, uh, it's getting just a little bit dark. Let's turn on the lights there. Uh, make, for, uh, make for some good, uh, good screenshot stuff there. And if, let's see, I'm only going four miles down. If Fritzy manages to get back, and I have enough room opened up. I'm thinking about letting him try to unload on the fly. It just really depends on his positioning and my positioning when he gets back. It would be a huge time saver to be able to unload on the fly. But that's why I set it to 100% so they don't just automatically um, come back by themselves. I, I don't want them to find the combine by themselves if I'm, like, say, 80 or 90. 90% full because it just it just causes too many problems from my experience. I just, I don't know. Course play just doesn't, you know, it probably works great on Goldcrest, but <laughs> uh, not with all the trees and hedgerows and stuff like this on the edge of the field. So um, let's uh, check on him again. He is uh, just about to the field. Probably going to be getting back to the field about the time uh, that I can tell him to find me on my way heading back this direction. I think that will probably be the best thing to do unless I want to, you know what, I think I will instead uh, open up the field officially and we're going to make a pass all the way around the field, kind of opening up these headlands over here a little bit, uh, the end rows rather, and uh, I just, I hate when I say headlands because it's, that's not like the American way to say it, you know, <laughs> it's, 
Uh, it, it's either Enros or I've seen some people on uh, agtalk.com, they, they use the word turn roads instead of Enros, but it's, I've never heard the word headlands before uh, by an American. I don't know, maybe maybe some of you guys farm in real life, you could uh, let me know if you have ever heard the, ro the word headlands before, because I certainly have not, so I'm kind of curious about that. Uh, but Fritz should be, there he is, look at that. Pulling on in. Look at that. That's a beautiful sight. Driving himself. And if we are close to like 100% full when we next find Fritz, I think I'll probably change their whatever percentage to send them on the way. Uh, I think I want to lower that to something like 75% because, you know, I'll, based on the, the size of those wagons, they're relatively small. And I don't want to be able to only dump like a thousand or two thousand liters on them and then they're full and then they go to dump um well i guess with two trailers you know what with two trailers it shouldn't really matter so i guess i guess that's fine either way um let's just we'll do around the corner here uh just because and here we go more speed yeah see i don't know i i could buy i mean six miles an hour seat feels fast for me but i i know some combines can go that fast, especially depending on the crop types. Uh, but I don't know about... I mean, that's that's really... That's a lot. More than 7 miles an hour is fast. Like, like I was saying in the previous episodes, you know, there, there is a certain limit to where the, the cutting head cannot move fast enough based on the uh, mile per hour that you are going to be able to put the crop inside of it. So uh, I, I don't know what that is, but... I mean, I actually experimented a little bit on our combine with our, I forget the number of our John Deere head. We gotta put our thing back there. But with the number of our John Deere head, it's uh, something like uh, six or seven miles an hour. I've tested it because when, you know, you can actually go that fast when you don't have a lot of, uh, you know, like say you're finishing up a field and you just have a few feet, you know, say you have three or two, two rows of soybeans left uh, to cut and you are not, um, you know, cutting a full swath, you can speed up because that's just, you know, it's uh, the, the amount of input into the combine is a function of your, your speed and the, the header width. Uh, so the, you know, if, if you effectively have a smaller header, uh, then you can speed up. Um, so let's actually try this. Uh, let's put out our auger and we're going to try this. We're going to try to tell Fritz to find us and see what happens. Hopefully... Uh, nothing bad happens, but let's uh, press control delete bring this up and we're gonna request driver See what happens. I don't know how this will work with two of them It's like he is uh, um, Not going Let's uh, let's stop real quick. Let's run back to him and see what's going on Maybe I should have I thought I had them on combine automatically, so you would have automatically found combine, but maybe not. Automatic search, select manually. Let's just do that. Um, so automatic search and select combine manually, and let's uh, go down to me. There we go. So uh, there we go. And then let's uh, put you on the what's that? The fill levels. Let's put you on something like. When you get more than 75% full, you're going to go, and same with you. 75% full, and go. Okay, so now let's uh, run back to our combine, and we're going to try this thing again. So, I think I have to press it again. Let's see what happens. All right, so driver requested. Request driver. And got something happening. I saw the, the hazards turn off. I saw the tractor starting up. Right? Isn't that what I saw? Come on! What is going on? You're not... You're not... Okay, fine. Well, just be that way then. 
You don't want to... That's weird. Why are you not... Oh, do I have them on? I probably have you on the wrong course for that. I probably have you on the wrong course for unloading me. I probably should have changed that course. Uh, I think... Uh, if, I, if I set grain transport instead of combi unload or something like that... Um, but no, I I had to have the right course, otherwise that function, the combine thing would have been grayed out if it was just straight up grain transport. I don't know. I don't understand. But if I get to, I don't know, if it gets 100% full, maybe it will trigger it and it will come up to me, but I don't know. Uh, I think for ease of turning, I will do one more path around the field, and then I probably have to go. This is, you know what, in reality, I probably should have... Um, did not mean to get out. I probably should have just done this field east to west. It's just a little bit easier. Oh, I wondered why my head raised. Um, I probably should have just done this field east to west, or north to south, actually. This is north to south, instead of east to west. That's that's a big hill to chug up. You actually probably remember that for that field over there. I'll probably try to do that one north to south. Yeah, you know what? That'll make getting in and out of the field a little bit easier, too, uh, for those for those guys. So, um, Are we going to be able to make it all the way around again? I hope so. I think I think we'll be able to make it around. <laughs> uh, yeah, right? As long as, hopefully, you don't decide to start driving across the field now to find me. That would be an absolute horrible turn of events. Um... Let's, uh, let's keep going here. I'm kind of pushing it for time, so I should start saying my goodbye now. Um, we do have, over the weekend, hopefully at some time, I have a 1,000 subscriber episode coming at some point. Uh, I also have a the January update coming. Uh, if you want to know what I'm going to talk about in the January update, I don't really know, but if you have any ideas is what I'm trying to say, uh, let me know. It'll basically be... You know, updating on uh, the maps I'm working on. It'll update you on the uh, the current status of the West Coast Oakfield Farm. Just in case you missed any of the other episodes where I randomly talk about stuff like that. Uh, you know, I'll also discuss other games I'm playing, other games I'm thinking about buying, other games I'm excited about in the future, uh, stuff like that. So it's, that's kind of what that uh, monthly update is all about. And I will probably try to show another um, game that I maybe haven't played a lot on either recording or stream just to kind of play something else because I have there's a lot of games that I have fun with so I think I'll probably do that I'll probably record myself playing another game and then I will show you me playing that game while I'm talking nothing about that game but uh, we're definitely gonna make it we are all the way here, look at this. We completed all of our end rows as well. So we are good to go. I still don't know what happened with that driver. Uh, I don't know. I, I wonder if I accidentally set up the waypoint wrong. If the waypoint's supposed to be on the other thing. I don't know. I don't know what I did wrong there. But this will shoot a little bit of time here while I am... Oh, good thing I didn't have manual unloading. I would have totally messed that up. Uh, but I wonder why... How did, did my combine mod get removed? Am I not using the combine mod anymore? I don't know how that happened, but you know, normally I have that combine mod that has me manually unload things. I don't know why that's not working. That's uh, interesting. I'm trying to get an even fill on the trailer there. Uh, straighten it up a little bit. There we go. So we are... That trailer should be taken off by the time I get out of here. I think. Oh! 70%. Is that enough to go? No, it's not. That's what I wanted to avoid, actually. Because um, now the next time I'm full, you might be waiting there. Well, that's fine. We can have a wait. Ah! Uh, well, here we go. Let's, uh, I, it feels almost big enough that I could have 
still done north to south. Would have been a lot faster, but or more efficient, rather. Anyway, I think that I gotta go. Course play set up. We're gonna use. We're, we're gonna. We're gonna be good, guys. We're gonna be good with course play. So, um, we have. We have stuff. We're we're, we're trucking now. Uh, <laughs> This will this will be a quick harvest after after I get force play set up. Actually, for canola, I could actually cultivate all these. Start cultivating all these fields while I really only need one tractor here trucking for me. Um, I don't know. I could do that. Ah, uh, well, that's a, that's another that's a story for another thing though because uh, yeah. Uh, you know what I could also do? I could just try to set this up, combine up on course play, and um, set everything up automatically while I am truck and manure down here because that's going to be a big job. We're going to have to truck manure down here and start spreading it on all the fields. Uh, but first, I think we want to plow it first. And uh, I don't know. We need to plow all the fields at some point. Um... We also want to work in the manure. Like, I was having a good discussion in the last guy, last episode with uh, several guys who were telling me um, how to do that. So, I still haven't made up my mind on that whole process yet and what I'm going to do with the, at the end of the season. But it is only late summer. It is not even fall yet. So, we're good there. Um, yeah, we're just we're losing a lot of time here going uphill. <laughs> but I guess you could say we make it back going downhill? because we get to go 20 miles an hour let's just see i think it was like 17 let's just i want to see how fast this combine can go if i let it go just as a test and it is what was the fastest speed there yeah there's just uh, it's 17 18 i mean i know i know so so part of it might be i know based on the weight of something that MR allows it to speed up going down the hill, but I thought there was an overriding work speed limit that overrid that. Or maybe the weight overrides the work speed limit. Maybe that's what's going on. But either way, it shouldn't allow me to harvest when I'm going that fast. That's just way too much throughput for the combine. And even if it allows it to cut, so I don't know. That's a little that's a little interesting. I don't know yet. But what I do know is I'm out of time, and we're watching that beautiful sunset. The sunset will be back when we get back because I am going to be on 1x speed. I think that 1x speed is a lot of fun. Uh, so I get to see more of this. You will get to see more of this sunset uh, later. So let's actually go on over, and let's just uh, kind of clock out for the night with this beautiful sunset. Uh, go on over here and here we go and we're gonna clock out right here when I get in front of this there we go kind of clock out with a good screenshot look at that screenshot there good sunset good uh, good trees good overlooking there we go that is just awesome everything so I thank you all and uh, stay tuned for more from the West Coast and uh, Oakfield Farm whenever it releases until next time guys see you later